Wait, are you eating people? Dude, and you want to talk to me? What the heck is this? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't scare me. You're a freaking monster. You just ate these people. Um. Dude, I don't even know how to handle you. You're a cannibal. Dude, this is not a cheeseburger situation. Do, do I know of some safe havens? Uh. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to hold. I don't. I don't know if I want to send you there. Um. I'm gonna go with Yosefka. Yeah, you done ate everyone here. Yeah, yeah, dude, you are messed up. You are messed up. You even ate the dude of... Oh, I can't... Mm, I hope... I hope she done gone mad and killed you by the time I get there. Because I want to go visit her. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Dave's Dungeon. I'm your host, Dungeon Master Dave. We just got done dealing with a dude that I got told was up here. God, he's so weird. That is, he is a cannibal. I don't, I don't know if I wanted to send him off that way. Uh, if you look down there, this is the elevator room. I hadn't really explored it much because every time I did, I was being attacked. Um, but if you go off the side and then you go upstairs and then you come around off and you go across these. Oh my god! We just found a cannon! Oh, 30 strength? Jesus! Uh, we found a cannon. Toting a mounted cannon complete with ridiculous weight, staggering kick, and lavish use of quicksilver bullets into battle. But indeed, its development was cut short yet again, and possibly gigantic foes. It might just be the thing. Ugh. So we found the cannon. We also found the beggar, which I'm not super stoked about. Um, hence why I sent him to Yosefka. Um, I don't know that that was a good idea. I hope he doesn't, like, kill her and start eating everyone there. Um, but I don't want him to eat Adriana and everybody else at the Odin Chapel either. That, that seems like a bad idea to me as well. Right, so we came up here. We came out through this way. You drop down. And then you take this ladder over here. So, we're going to have to do a little bit of that. Um, and thank you guys for all your recommendations and comments. I, I really appreciate them. Uh, I was getting a little lost. You also said that there's another path I could have taken um, back at where I met Balter, which is not far from here. But at the same time, I don't really want to mess with that right now. I want to go on ahead and move forward. So we're going to drop down back through all of this. And we're going to continue moving on. Because from what I've found... Wait, what's, where does this go? I think was, this was how I got into this place. Yes, yeah, so we came in this way. Then we basically hopped down here. And then, yeah, this is the midsection. So now we're going to go back down the elevator. Oh, yeah, that's back up. Um, yeah, it should be this way. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, we're going to take the elevator back down, and we're going to continue on through the Forbidden Forest. Now, I think right past the elevator is, you know, the finish of all of this. I think if we just keep going, we're almost at the end. Um, oh, 
there's something in the way. Oh, didn't get the backstab. And he's plenty pissed. Ah! Can you not? Gotcha. Get out of here. Pain in the butt. Alright, so we're back at the Forbidden Woods. Which for right now, they don't seem like much. They don't seem like much at all. Um, I think if we go this way, this is the way forward. Because where we found those summons was back around this way. Hey, easy there, Bacon. Come on, Bacon Cheeseburger. For he was a young what hog. Got him. Baconator challenge defeated. Go ahead and make some blood bullets. I don't want to. I don't want to run out. It looked like there may be an item back there, uh, but it's actually back in here. Oh. Lord have mercy. Y'all have y'all have crawled into the wrong area. I hope y'all weren't trying to be found because y'all are definitely doing it wrong. Ah! Trees all up in the way. Can't quite see. Got more blood vials. Dissipating lake. So we got us another rune. Yeah. Dissipating lake. Bolt damage reduction. So lake's physical. Dissipating lake. Clear blue sea. Does 1000 poison resistance. So apparently lakes and sea are resistances. This transcription of the great old ones in human voice. Ripples into a watery reflection. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep and an auger of the Eldritch Truth. Okay, so they guard sleep. So I'm thinking this is a Dune situation where we're all asleep and you as a sleeper must awaken. So again, I think this makes some sense. So it's an auger, meaning it, it helps us resist being possessed. That all makes a good bit of sense. So, it's almost like dual realities laid one over top the other. And that's why we can't see the great old ones. is because we don't have the, the insight, the arcane knowledge to, to see them. But, I'm going to bet there's going to come a point... There's going to come a time where we're going to have that. We're going to we're going to find enough and it is going to change a whole bunch of stuff. Hey, whoa. Thought you were dead. Get out of here. You dang cripple. Not that I have anything against cripples. I just I don't like you. Alright, so we're going to keep moving up and around. Oh, this is just a little path. Meh. Nah. Meh. Nah. <laughs> I don't like it. Alright. So we got one in sight right now. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just start saving it up. I don't know where this goes. Oh, that looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one. Okay. So now we know where the way through is. Now to ask ourselves a question. We got Henrik. Who I don't want to mess with. Because we've played with him before. 
We've we fought him before. And then up here. Woo woo woo. Can you not just say you did? So we got some blood vials. Still got some blood bullets. And we got the younger Madaras tr twins. And then we got a path that leads up and back around. I don't really know where this goes yet. I don't really kind of want to know. Let's just see. Oh yeah, this drops us back off into the, the rest of the area. Alright, so we don't need to go that way. Let's just go ahead and see what this boss is about. Now, usually, I just kind of want to take my chances with the boss before I jump in. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that this time. kind of just want to take my backup in and, and have my backup. And that way we don't create any problems for ourselves. Yeah, let's go ahead and summon this guy. Come on. Where you at? Are we gonna look similar? No, we don't. Ooh. Sweet. Awesome sauce. You've got an axe and a big old gun. I like it. I like it. You look like a butcher. You look slightly official. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to take up in this next area. Alright, we came down that way. Going around this way. I've cleaned everything else out. Yeah, you see a big old opening like this? It's boss time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So, we got ourselves together. Got some poison knives, got some bolt paper, pebbles. I think I'm gonna use some bolt paper for this fight. I still haven't restocked after. Wait, did I restock? I don't know if I got. Oh yeah, I got some. I got some fire paper too if I need it. Let's go ahead and take these off. I needed to go back and get some more of Adriana's blood. Alright. One second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was just getting pumped up getting ready for the boss. Let's see what this is. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, no. I don't like to look at this. Let's just start working them. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. No, we're killing you first. Stay away from me. Woohoo! Oh god, no, that was a mistake. Ooh. Ah, get, get off my backside. Ah! Don't fire me, bro. Aha! Woohoo! Come on, bolt paper. Wow, he's dead. Straight up dead. I do not like you. Oh god, they're changing. Alright, one down. 
One down, one down, one down, one down, one down. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, you got Mr. Stretchy Arms. And you got fire. Woohoo! Oh, stretchy arms. Oh, stretchy arms. I do not like you, stretchy arms. Heal. Come on. Woohoo! I wonder, can I parry that? Ouch. Uh huh. Got you. Alright, got a bunch of health off of you. Whoa. Got him again. Yeah, get out of here. Jeez. Alright, nobody told me this was going to be like a jump thing. Nobody let me know what this fight was fixing to be. Woo! You better stop with all that. Ah, not in the hole, not in the hole, not in the hole. Come on, Winston, stretch your arm. God dang it. Got the parry off. Good thing that I'm a immortal during a parry. Oh, you. God dang it. Come on. Woo! Oh, God, now they both got stretchy arms. No, no, you doll seem looking mother truckers. Quit it. Perry. All right. Ah, ah, ah. Yikes. Jesus. Oof. 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 No. Come on. No. Quit it. Quit it with your dang stabby arms. Ah! No. No. Come on. Keep running at me. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Whoa, hey. Alright. I got him. Oh, you just gonna dodge around me? I can do this all day. I'll, d I'll just keep dodging you. Yeah! How do you like me now? Yes, we beat him in one. We did it in one, ladies and gentlemen. That's a first for Dave's Dungeon. Ha 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 ha! Yes, buddies. I'm telling you. Ah, oh. so thirty-four thousand echoes for that. Yes, and I know we took the twin in, and he got murdered like straight out the gate. But hey, he was worth it. He kept one of them off my back. Oh God, no! Stay away from me, you weird thing. Oh, what the heck are you? No, no, no. Get away from me. Shoe fly don't bother me. Oh my god. What have I found? Where am I? Oh, are you something? Oh no, but you've got an item behind you. Oh, I don't like to look at this place. Please. Oh, we found a lantern. Oh, we're in Bergenworth, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it. We finally made it. Yeah! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, I'm going to go back to the dream and spin these echoes real quick.
and just recenter myself because, oh my lord, it feels like we've it's taken so long to get here. We had to go through the forest. <sighs> oh yay, she's back up. Hey girl, what's going on? I love how when we come into the dream, it's like we get wash, dry, and folding service done on our clothes. Yeah, we don't have enough echoes to level up twice. I wish we did. We're getting to that level where it takes a little bit. So, we're going to come over here and spend some more. Purchase some items. Still got plenty of bullets. Still got plenty of blood vials. Antidotes were doing fine. Molotovs were still okay. Don't have any throwing knives. We got no backup paper there. We got... We got some blood, bolt paper. We're full up there. Huh. For two... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the bolt paper. Bolt paper came in handy. I felt good fighting those guys with it. Um, I felt like it did decent enough damage. Whoo! Boy, oh boy. We're somewhere now. Okay, so we're starting to fill out the second gravestone. Haven't gotten up too much in here other than abandoned old workshop and Hypogen Jail. But we're getting it over here. Let's get on back to Bergenworth and see what we can find. Whew. That was a fun boss. I'm not going to lie. That was totally fun. And if you practice dodging at all, you're going to feel a lot better about it. You're going to you're gonna really feel a lot better about it. Alright, so it looks like there's another one of those dudes over there. There's one down there. There's a summon right there already. What the world? Well, heck, I can summon another guy here. Um, anybody down? Oh, I see you down there. Don't turn around! Don't turn around! Got him. Now, I'm just wondering, like, are these the scholars? You know, we keep hearing, ooh, we got a sedative. Liquid medicine concocted at Bergenworth calms the nerves. Those who delve into the arcane fall all too easily to madness. Thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of these inquisitive minds. Naturally, this often leads to a reliance on blood ministration. Ooh. Alright, so they make sedatives out of people's blood. That's something. Um, man, this place makes me nervous. Makes me real, real nervous. Because there's two over there. And I don't really want to deal with two of these guys at once. They seem kind of deadly for two. Oh no, get off me. Get off me. Oh, what are you making me do? Get off me. Oh, he's making my madness, I think. Whatever the madness counter is. Oh, please don't make me pop. I'm hoping this isn't like, um, what's it called in Dark Souls? Uh, petrification? Uh, in Dark Souls, if you get petrified, you immediately die. I mean, like, you harden a stone, all your life goes bye-bye, and you're just dead. Um, I'm hoping this isn't like that, where you just all of a sudden just start to completely go crazy. <sighs> Got him. I think I should be fighting these guys with a light weapon currently. Because they don't seem too, too bad. That don't mean nothing necessarily. These are definitely eldritch enemies. 
That's all I can say. Bergenworth seems to have a... Oh, it's a squid boy. You don't see me? You don't see me? You do not see me. Turn around. You didn't even hear nothing. Oh, God. Get out of here. No, let go of me. You get off of me. No. Oh, God, he's sucking, he's sucking insight. Get off of me. You just ate two. Get out of here. No, 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 get off of me. Get your butt off of me. Get off of me. Oh, God, I did not realize how dangerous these boys were. Yep, that's three insight gone. Lord have mercy. And all this guy wants to do is shoot that white shit at me. Ah, no you don't. Get that off me. Oh, no. Get off of me! Ah, oh, just pump the keys. Get away! I'm glad we did some leveling, man, because this ain't even cool. Get away! God! Alright, he was definitely worse than the rest of them that I've fought so far. Good grief! Alright, we got a new rune. Let me guess. Arcane damage reduction, 7%. Cool. Whew! Man, out of the frying pan, dot, dot, dot. Man, I got a bad feeling about this. I mean, our summons over there. Can you open this door? It does not open from this side. Okay. Um, any items, anything back over here? What is... I'm gonna just have to relax. Jeez. These Eldritch enemies are getting crazy. And I don't mean in a good way. I mean, these things are getting nuts. So, Oh, great. More flies. Two of them? Really? God, get away from me. Whew. Oh, God. Shooting fireballs. Shooting fireballs. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, man. Whoa. Whoa. Chill. Chill. Oh, God, you hit me with your antenna? Don't think I don't see that mouth. Keep me away. Keep me away. Keep me away from that. Come get away. Come get away. Come get away from me. No. How about no? God, you are so weird. You are setting off all my bug phobias. All of them. Get away from me. You are the ancient enemy that spiders will one day rise up to be. You need to die. You need to die. Oh God, trying to pull me off into another universe. <sighs> Oh, please don't tell me there's more of those. This place is not cool. I, I don't know why I ever came here. And I now regret ever... Oh. Oh, ho, ho, holy crap. Fragment of the lost wisdom of the great ones. Beings that might be described as gods. At Bergenworth, Master Wilhelm had an epiphany. 
What are we thinking on the basis of planes? What we need are more eyes. Um, yeah, I'm starting to figure this out. It's we're 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 thinking in a one-dimensional plane, and really, these beings are extra-dimensional. <laughs> Come with me, friend. Oh, a bunch of sedatives. Oh, we got an open gate. Open the doors. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <sighs> Where do we go from here? We've got... We've got our sedatives. We know more about the great old ones now. and We know that they're starting to cross, or somehow they're crossing into this plane because we're tapping into what? Insight? And these are the... These are the consequences of tapping into insight. You get these crazy looking bug dudes. Because the sedative stopped working, I'm guessing. I got very bad feeling about this place, guys. Pearl slug. Why would I want a pearl slug? I just have a very bad feeling about this. Like, all of a sudden, we're fixing to get whacked again. Damien of Menses. Oh, God! Where did you come from? Don't you shoot me with that, with that tentacle shit. Oh, would you stop with that damn misty thing? Quit hitting me with the damn Lysol. Get that Lysol out of here. He's got that threaded cane down, though. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta keep the damage up. No! Quit hitting me with that thing! Ah! Oh, dang it. Can't get caught ad-libbing. Dang you with the Lysol. Ah, we're just going to slug it out. Oh, God. No, nope. slugging it out was a bad idea. Come on. Oh. Okay, so Bergenworth has some hardcore hitting mother truckers. Oh, please no more. Please, no more. So, now we can summon Damien of Mensis if we want to use... By the way, for those of you who aren't English scholars, Mensis, menstruation. Uh, why is there a Mensis? When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. When the great old ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Oh, no. That's no good. And is there, like, another one over there? Is that, like, another summon? How many are in this one area? Henrik again. So there's one out front. Student uniform. Let's see what these look like. I just need a minute. Student trousers. They're pretty terrible compared to the grave kilt, but good grief, do they look dorky too? I would know. I'm I'm pretty dorky. 
Okay, so we got this guy. Is that a door? It's locked. Hmm. Where to go, what to do. Come on, put your bodies on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh. Oh, Lord. Lunarium key. Breaking all your jars. And we got more stairs going up. All right, that looks like just a little landing. And we got an... Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Empty phantasm shell. Oh. I don't know why they're giving me all these slug items. Are they in here? Okay, empty phantasm shell. Empty invertebrate shell that is said to be familiar... To be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Nice! What's a pearl slug? Ah, there it is. Materials used in Holy Chalice Ritual of all the strange life forms that reside in nooks and crannies of the old labyrinth. The slugs are clear signs of the left behind great ones. Ugh. Okay, so those are great one babies. And then I have one of them that I can smear on my weapon. Yeah, I said it. Smear. It's kind of like that weapon. It's kind of like that word moist. <laughs> I know I just lost people right there. People hate that word. Does this open the door? Yay! And see, that's a white moon. So we haven't had a blood moon yet. Hey, man. What's up with you? Oh. You're pointing at the moon, or are you? No, you're kind of pointing off the ledge. Are you? Yeah, you're pointing off the ledge. You're not pointing at the moon. Moon's that way. Like, if I'm gonna point, I'm gonna point that way towards the moon. Point again. Yeah, you're pointing. You're definitely pointing off the ledge. What's going on here? What is this? All right, so I see the moon. There's the moon. In case y'all don't know, because of the water, the moon should be equal distance from itself off the horizon. So why are you pointing down here? Ooh. Oh, boy. There's something down there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me here today on this adventure. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content. Make sure you ring the bell so you know when there are new episodes dropping. And we drop episodes every day, twice a day, usually about 10 and 2 or 9 and 3, respectively. But there's two episodes a day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've enjoyed this adventure with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one with me. See you in the next adventure later. Dungeon Dwellers. Gotta go and check on my girl, Yosefka. Hey, Yosefka! Oh, hello. You're safe. What a relief. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe, girl. He's safe with me now. I'm thrilled to have another. Here you are, as promised. Yeah, you still packing, girl. I'm still a little nervous about that, but I'm glad you, you were able to handle him. Whoa. I never do without you. You're really making a difference. <laughs> Am I? Girl, I don't know who could be happy that I sent him a cannibal. I'm really curious as to what you're up to. I guess we're going to look into how to find you. Anyways, later days, Dungeon Dwellers.